You know, losing is never a good thing, but sometimes one loss that stings more than the other. For the Jackals, that loss was last night. The Jack Attack led most of Game 3 of the ECHL quarterfinals versus Florida before allowing the game to go into overtime. Now just 11 seconds into OT, yeah, the Blades were on the strike, ending the game with a 2-1 win and a 2-1 series lead now in the best of seven games. Now it's time and it's simple for the Jackals to get back and come home Friday night for Game 4 and win. Regardless if you win or lose, you have to come to play the next game. Uh, you, you can't carry momentum into in, from one game to the next. It, you, you have to you have to become ready to play. Best of seven series, and you know you move past it. It's over. It's uh, zero zero on uh, Friday night, and you know you just keep going. Well, today is a special day in memory. On this day two years ago, longtime Elmira Heights sports hero Jamie Ungerlin tragically died in a maintenance accident. But his legacy lives on. Today is JU Day, honoring the man who did so much for local sports. Last year, one year to the day of his father's death, Ty Ungerlid smashed two home runs, going five for five with five RBIs in honor of his dad in a win over Tioga, something that we may never be able to explain. Ty is now at Mansfield University playing baseball, and without question, has his father watching him. Here's to JU Day, and may he rest in peace. Moving on to some golf, the Masters kicked off today in Augusta National in Georgia. Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, and Jack Nicholas. look at this stuff here, hit some opening tee shots to usher in the day. All the big names are in it, including Tiger Woods, who's looking for his first win here since 2005. Now you can catch all the action on WEY HD CBS starting Saturday at 3.30, right now of course on ESPN. Going to end out with this, it's always nice catching a foul ball at a game, right? But how about this, a Mariners fan catching a foul ball, you guessed it, in his beer cup. Yeah, that's the real deal. What's even better, he drinks it with the ball in it. The lone highlight for the M's that night, they did lose 8-3 to the Strohs. Not sure what beer he had there, but he was thirsty.